Top 10 Most Unbelievable Tiger King Moments That Really Happened Netflix's Tiger King is chock full of unbelievable moments, but here are the 10 most unbelievable ranked from craziest to downright shocking. Number 10. Joe Mary Travis Maldonado It was already odd to see a mullet-wearing, gun-toting Oklahoma man like Joe Exotic be openly gay, but when he married not one, but two men, that made things even weirder. Joe was married to John Finley, but when a strapping, young, tall, dark, and handsome man named Travis Maldonado showed up, Joe couldn't resist. He asked for his hand in marriage, too, and John's approval to turn their two-way marriage into a three-way. Number 9. John admitted he wasn't gay. Even stranger than the fact that Joe married Travis while still being married to John is the fact that, halfway through the docuseries, John dropped a major bomb. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that I'm not actually gay? While the docuseries noted from the beginning that Travis wasn't gay either, but sort of went along with Joe because of his severe drug addiction and Joe's ability to take care of him through it, it was all but assumed that John was indeed gay. But no, he had once been addicted to meth as well, and ended up leaving Joe eventually after already having several affairs with women who worked at the park. He is now dating a woman. Number 8. Joe protesting outside of Big Cat's Sanctuary. Remember that scene from the series when Joe was protesting outside of the Big Cat Sanctuary after a video leaked showing her staff holding up dead rabbits who were about to become tiger feed. He showed up with signs and in a full rabbit outfit with red substances rubbed all over him to look like blood. He then proceeded to hold up protest signs, lie on the floor like he was being mauled by tigers, and generally embarrass the heck out of her. Number 7. The Studio Caught Fire After Joe got into a fight with TV producer Rick Kirkham, who revealed to him that while he was helping him with the production of his low-budget web series, he owned all of the footage because it was also part of the reality show he was putting together. The next day, the studio, with all of the footage, caught fire. Joe was conveniently out of town attending a funeral. The real cause of the fire was confirmed to be arson, and while no one was charged, Kirkham and others have suggested that they think Joe did it himself or arranged to have it burned down. Number 6. Joe's Campaign for President Joe didn't just run for President of the United States, but he also campaigned hard. He visited different local events, slinging swag like t-shirts and even customized condoms. He promoted himself as a man for the people and a gun-loving Oklahoman who wouldn't let anyone tell him what to do. He showed up everywhere to spread the love and even garnered a significant amount of support, proving that some of the most outlandish dreams are really worth pursuing, even if failure is inevitable. Number 5. Joe's Remarriage After Travis's Accidental Death after Travis accidentally and tragically shot himself in the head, Joe fell into a deep state of depression. Yet oddly enough, and just a few months later, he picked himself back up, met another young man on the internet, and got married to him. They then ran away together after things started to get ugly with Jeff Lowe. Even worse, Joe invited Travis's mother to the wedding, took some photos with her, and as she reports, he never called her again. Number 4. Joe shot a dummy he pretended was Karen in the head. In one of his many outlandish web series videos, Joe had a full-size dummy sitting beside him that he called Carol. At one point, he pulled out a gun and shot the plastic toy straight in the head, alluding to the fact that this is what he'd really like to do to her. In another video, he had what looked like a mock-up of her head in a jar, saying he'd like to do that as well. To say that this was equal parts uncomfortable yet morbidly entrancing is an understatement. Number 3. The Here Kitty Kitty Music Video What is more shocking and unbelievable than the Here Kitty Kitty song and music video? All of Joe's songs were deeply personal, but none more so than this one. Not only did he sing a song, or lip sync, depending on what you believe, with lyrics that outright accused Carol Baskin of murdering her husband, but he even hired a look-alike actor to play her. In the video, the look-alike prances around with a smiling face, happily feeding pieces of raw meat from a platter to the tigers. Atop the platter is what looks to be a human head. Ugh. Number 2. The Tiger Ripped Saf's Arm Off That scene with Saf on the floor, clearly in shock and 
pain after the tiger ripped his arm off was just unbelievable. But more unbelievable was his calm demeanor and the way he handled things afterwards. Rather than be stuck in a hospital going through surgery and therapy for weeks, he opted to just have the arm amputated. He then went back to continue to work at the park, remaining faithful to Joe. Number 1. Joe Exotic Ordered a Hit on Carol Baskin The most unbelievable part of the docuseries was how it ended, with Joe disappearing and reportedly hiring a hitman to take out Carol Baskin. He first hired Jeff Lowe's friend, who chickened out and ran away with his partial payment before he agreed to things with an undercover cop. Believe what you wish, some think Joe was set up and coaxed into doing this so they could find him guilty, while others believed all he needed was a little coaxing to do what he might have eventually done anyway. Nonetheless, it was a sad end to a crazy story. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to The Daily Hit for more videos. See you on the next video.